hate to say it, but I think it was nepotism at its best. I had three aunts and a cousin that worked here, and I needed a job. And the head of personnel was a friend of the family. And guess who got hired? Went to work in the x-ray file room, and then months later, I went to the uh, secretary's office for me and learned medical transcription. That was the job that I loved a lot for five years. Back then, everybody sat around and smoked at their desk. It was like you'd walk into a, an office and it, you were fighting smoke. It was different. The school was just coming about when I went to work at the hospital. It was not, it wasn't even being built. When they started to build B building, as we call it, well, we had to walk down a boardwalk from the front of the hospital, we would come down those concrete steps in front of the hospital and get on a boardwalk that was, couldn't have been any wider than maybe three feet. And it would leak and we're trapped on it. We had to walk from the front of the hospital all the way to B-Lot on this boardwalk. When I came to work initially for the medical school, I was on the second floor at the end of Edwin Street in the Linwood Apartments. And when we initially moved medical communications, we moved ourselves. Do you believe that? We packed up everything into rental trucks and moved ourselves to save money. They finally opened the med school in 76. And they promised us the next project, we're gonna have a parking garage. So I've been looking forward to that now since 1976. anatomy department. We had the gross anatomy in the uh, basement of the VA hospital, the gross anatomy lab, and the classroom was on the seventh floor of the VA, and it housed, could house about 40-something students. The first class uh, was, came in 1969, and I, I taught at least probably six or eight of those students. I gave uh, electives in, the soft, in their sophomore year, so I did get acquainted with uh, at least some members in that class. So I feel like I've taught every class, essentially, that's since the school started. Uh, the building uh, for the medical school was uh, under construction shortly after I got here, but uh, we were supposed to move in in September of well, actually August of 1975. Uh, it's an interesting thing that the building, we accepted a class of 100 that year, and uh, the buildings weren't ready uh, until December of 1975. So we actually had to have uh, classes in the Linwood Apartments, and there was a student union constructed in the Linwood Apartments that had a balcony as well as a floor associated with it, and uh, I had the honor of giving the first lecture to the class of 100 students in that makeshift building. We had a 35 millimeter projector and a big screen, and then the chairman of the department, Dr. Reed, bought it, brought in a fishing pole that I used for a pointer. The uh, second lecture that I gave the next day to the medical students, I brought that uh, fishing pole in uh, with a string on it and a cork and proceeded to show them uh, aerial views of Caddo Lake and where I like to fish. Yeah. 